Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how we can create SQL Server uh, reporting services uh, with the two nodes scale out deployment and on top of it, uh, how we can load balance it. So from the load balancing, uh, I mean that we will be using two machines. These are two uh, machines uh i'll be first joining them to the domain and assigning them the ips and disabling the firewall so these two machines uh we will be using scale out deployment but on top of it we will be creating a dns load balancing to round robin between these two reporting services and instead of just using the one active node for scale out deployment we will be using both the nodes as a as a load balancing so we will be utilizing both the reporting services to serve more people so we have just joined these uh, two nodes to the domain and we have assigned the ips so next uh, there are some installation files we have to copy, like uh, the reporting services, Chrome, uh, Management Studio, and SQL Server, uh, SQL Server 2019 uh, uh, Developer Edition. And uh, before uh, installing uh, the reporting services, the first thing we have to do is to install uh, the .NET Framework 4.7 on both the nodes and once that uh, .NET framework is installed then we will proceed for installing the reporting services and uh, the reporting services configuration is uh, pretty simple uh, we will just be using the uh, plain installation and default configuration for uh, sql server and uh, reporting services both for the for this i'll be using sql server 2019 developer edition and uh, the latest uh, management studio so here is the quick installation standalone installation for sql server 2019 developer edition uh, this is uh, i'm just using uh, sql server developer edition uh, and uh, the default uh, settings it's not the best practice but i'm installing it on the c drive uh, just to make it quicker and um, all the settings are the default ones and it's uh, the developer edition so once this is installed uh, i'll be installing management studio and after that uh, uh, we'll configure sql server reporting services uh, install it and configure it as a scale out deployment so let's uh, proceed so the installation is completed next is simple uh, report server uh, installation on both the nodes and on the first node i'll be configuring sql server with default uh, uh, web URL and uh, the database I'll be creating on one of the nodes and it is the plain database I'll just create the database that's all so you can choose the default uh, name or you can create your own so here on the first node uh, we have configured a new reporting services but on the second node we'll be using the existing database to make sure we have joined to the existing uh, reporting service for the scale out deployment so for each standalone deployment will we have to use a separate database but for the scale out deployment we are using existing uh, database so 
once uh, we have configured that, then we will be able to see the scale out deployment uh, is um, available in the reporting server configuration manager. Here I am installing the management studio on one of the nodes. And uh, we will be using, um, we will be creating a very basic report uh, which will just display that what is the current reporting server URL. So just to make sure that once we, we will be demonstrating a URL which is a single cluster URL or a single URL, but it will give us different reporting services. So actually to demonstrate that a single URL will be We'll be using a single URL and uh, it will it will give us different reporting services. So this is just a plain report to display us at what is the current reporting services. So on SQL report 02, it will display 02 and on 01, it will display 01. But we have to create a single DNS uh, in the DNS uh, in the Active Directory. So here, is, uh, this is the most important part that uh, uh, we will be creating um, as a DNS record with two IPs. And these two IPs will be from the two reporting services we have configured. And the most important thing here is to set TTL to one second so that whenever we have to request from the active directory the dns so it will give us different ips so what we have done is to create a single dns with two different ips so by default the active directory will give us two different ips as round robin so first time if we ping it will give us like 192.168.100.110 which is the ip for the first node and once we ping it again it will give us the second node ip which is 192.168.100.110 so here is just an example that uh, we will be using the DNS which is SQL cluster and uh, once we issue this command and we will open the browser so it will give us the reporting the reports from one of the nodes so we are not mentioning the node name but any of the reporting services will respond to us so one time it will give us the report from one node and second time it will give us the report from the second node so this way so this is the first thing uh, the first one was uh, served by sql reporting 02 and uh, most probably the second should be from the first node so so this way we can easily round robin and uh, create a, a load balancing between a scale out deployment for the uh, for the reporting services and this way we can utilize both the nodes uh, of sql server reporting services i hope this will help you and uh, for any comments and suggestions uh, please comment in the comment box thank you very much